Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to show you how to set up the compressors menu. So as a reference, I'm going to refer to this button as the alarm button, program or menu button, escape or back button, up, enter and down. So let's go into the menu and let's use the manufacturer's password which is 1234 and this will allow us to set all the relevant parameters and enter. So let's go down to menu C which is compressors and enter then submenu B regulation regulation by temperature and type is neutral zone yes this is how we set up the wizard so I'm going to leave it as is and go down we have some set point limits that you can set we have the actual suction set point of minus 10 I'm going to leave and go down now we have neutral zone manage we have a neutral zone differential an active differential and a deactive differential and I would like you to change everything to two degrees the reason being this is going to be a great starting point for us to see how the compressors regulate and we can make some small changes later on if we see the compressors are either switching on too quickly or off too quickly to two okay and then also i would like to explain to you the three different differentials a neutral zone differential is the differential where the lead compressor in this case the inverter compressor is allowed to regulate our second and third compressors will be in the state they were before we entered the neutral zone then we have an active ref differential where we start switching on compressors the further we go away from suction set point and then the deactive differential where we start to switch off compressors the further we go below suction set point so let's go down enable force of power no you have the option to say yes and give it a set point and the rack controller will switch off the compressors when we reach that set point so it's not going to have a, a smooth regulation around set point so let's let's say you have a rack that's overshooting for some odd reason you can say at minus 20 switch off and the rack controller will do so so let's go down power load to 100 percent we have a minimum and a maximum time so i'd like you to change the minimum time to 60 seconds and the maximum time to 120 and this is going to be a great starting point for us to see how the compressors regulate if they take too long for you to switch on you can make this timing smaller and if they start too quickly you can make these timings a little bit longer so 120 perfect let's enter and go down then we have an unload to zero a minimum and a maximum time I'm gonna leave my minimum time at 30 seconds but change my maximum time to 60 seconds and also if you have your compressor switching off while below set point and you don't want them to switch off because you might not be as far below set point you can change these timings a little bit longer and also then increase your deactive differential it's all how the compressors are running sorry i went too far down so let's just take it to 60 seconds almost there sometimes these buttons are a little bit um, sensitive so let's go down then we have enable auxiliary auxiliary regulation no but you have the option so let's go down and then we're back at the beginning so let's go out of this menu and go down to the alarms menu and enter now we have all the alarm parameters to do with compressors so the only thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my high temperature alarm to a relative and I'm going to leave it at 10 degrees and so let's go down then we have an alarm differential which I'm going to change to 3 
and then what this means is when suction rises to zero we're gonna have an alarm and then when it's at below minus three the alarm will go away it will automatically reset then we have a alarm delay of 120 seconds so let's go down then we have a low set point and I'm going to change this to relative as well and I'm going to put my threshold on 10 degrees again perfect so this means then suction set point is at minus 10 so if we take 10 below the minus 10 will have a low temperature alarm at minus 20 next page then we have a differential I'm going to change that to 3 as well and then we, what this means is as soon as we go above minus 17 the alarm will automatically reset and I'm going to leave my alarm delay at 30 seconds let's go down then we have inverter warning switch off compressor 1 no but I'm going to change my reset to automatic and I'm going to put a little bit of an alarm delay in there of 10 seconds. So let's go down. Low CPU heat alarm, I'm going to enable it. You have the option of a warning and alarm or only an alarm. I'm going to leave it as only an alarm. I'm going to change my threshold to 10. So that's going to be like my alarm set point for the CPU heat. I'm going to leave my alarm differential at 1 and I'm going to say switch off compressor 1 no but my reset is going to be automatic and I'm going to leave the little alarm delay of 30 seconds as is so if we go down we have number of alarms for each compressor I'm going to leave at 1 the alarm description is a generic alarm let's go down alarm we've got an active delay a startup delay a reset i wanted auto and the priority is serious i'm going to leave this as is and go down and then we're back at the beginning so let's go out of this menu to configurations menu and enter so we have three reciprocating compressors as like we did in the wizard so i'm going to leave and it as is and go down Compressor 1, 2, and 3 are all enabled. But let's say compressor number 2 is in for maintenance. You are able to disable that compressor and all the alarms pertaining to that compressor will be deactivated. So I'm just going to enable it for now again. And go down to the next page. Refrigerant type 507. It's perfect. Let's go down. We have some minimum off and on and time to start the same compressor settings and timings I'm gonna leave it as is because this this is totally dependent on your compressor manufacturer so next page ignition type is gonna be direct I'm gonna leave the equalization as no but you have the option to set it and you'll have some set points let's go down device rotation I would like you to change it for me to custom custom but you have the option of timings so it will always start the compressor with the least amount of running hours first we have last in first out or first in first out as options but because we are running a lead compressor I would like to leave it at custom enter and then go down Device unload sequence, compressor, unloader, 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 compressor, unloader, unloader, unloader. I'm going to leave that as is and go down. We have some load up times, load down time and unloader delay. I'm going to leave this page as is and go down. Now we have a switch on order. And what I want you to do is to leave compressor 1 at 0. Compressor 2 is going to be 1. And then compressor number three is going to be two what this means is compressor number one will switch on first 
then number two, then number three. Then on the next page, we have the switch off order. And now I would like to invert that. So I'm going to make this two for compressor number one. Compressor number two is going to be one. And then compressor three is going to be zero. What this means is as soon as we start switching off compressors, we first going to switch off compressor number three, then number two, and then number one. And this will enable us to have the lead compressor always switching on first and always off the last. Modulating speed device is inverter. Let's go down. We have some minimum frequency and maximum frequency. I'm going to leave as is and go down. Compressor controlled by inverter. The timings pertaining to that compressor. I'm going to leave this as is. But remember to always use the compressor manufacturer's timings. So let's go down. Different sizes, no. And different number of valves, no. This is perfect because we don't have different size compressors. And also we don't have unloading compressors. So I'm going to leave as is and go down. Compressor groups. Our first group is the inverter compressor and our second group is the rest of the comp compressors and they're all the same size so let's go down compressor config inverter yes i want to run the compressor at 100 percent let's go down and then we're back at the beginning so let's go back from this menu and into the advanced menu so let's enter now we have a minimum voltage and a maximum voltage which the controller will give your, your VSD. So from zero volts to 10 volts. We have a normal frequency of 50 Hertz and also the 10 kilowatts. So let's go down. Now we have a rising time and falling time. This time is the time that it takes from zero volts to 10 volts is our 20 seconds. And from 10 volts to zero volts is gonna be the 10. So if you want to slow down your lead compressor you can increase this or decrease it depending on how you would like it to run let's go down keep minimum voltage when compressor under inverter is off i'm going to say no i don't want the controller to give a signal to the vsd all the time so i'm going to say no let's go down enable compressor modulation inside neutral zone yes that means our lead compressor is able to modulate inside the neutral zone. Let's go down. Enable suction pressure backup probe. No, but let's say you have a secondary suction probe. You can say yes and also give it some set points. Let's go down. Request in case of regulation probes fault, 0%. I would like you to change this. And this is going to be different for each rack. So in this rack that we're busy setting up, we've got three compressors. And for me, I would only like one compressor to run in case the suction probe failed. So I'm going to change this to 33. Because our 33, 66 and 100, that's our three compressors in percentage. So I'm going to set it to 33%. And that will enable only one compressor to run when we have a suction probe failure. I'm going to leave the pump down as no and go down. Enable anti-liquid return valve. You have the option to do that. And then there we are back at the beginning. So this was your compressors menu. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.